Don't let me. Whew, okay. And is that an espresso machine? Cause sign me up. Uh oh, a candle. Huh. Can I put this here? Yes. Y yes, I can. So clearly this lady's got all sorts of Starbucks going on in here, but this is kind of like witchy Starbucks, which means she's gonna have all sorts Herbal of teas special and ingredients. Remedies. A whole menu to choose from. Still digging the name of the place, Luminous Illusions sounds like fun. That is one heck of a tea shop. Oh yeah, she was the first witch prosecuted? Wow. All right. Closed off. No, pumpkin, please. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Done. So, we need to go talk to our uh, esquire lady, our lawyer friend. Really, Black Omen, all you've missed is a whole bu whole bunch of conversation. The judging? You know, come on. Oh, jeez. Take a break. You need it. Jason, I have had these protesters outside my window nonstop for days. I must deal with this situation. The longer it goes on, the worse it looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm buying lunch. You're buying? Really? With what? You gotta get over this, Dad. It's not good for you. It's not healthy. What are you talking about? You resent me. I don't resent you, Jason. Miss Drew, please, come in. We'll talk later, okay? Oh, you have time for her, but not for me. Please, Jason. Hi. Jason Danforth. Hey, hi. Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. Nancy You're visiting Drew. Salem, yeah? Ooh. What do you think? I can show you around a boring town. town beneath all the legends. Jason, come on. We have a meeting. Actually, it seems like there's a lot going on here. Well, whenever you're up for some real excitement, look me up. No? No. I'm sorry. He's still trying to figure out what he wants to do with his life. Didn't want to follow in his father's footsteps. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried didn't have the dedication to follow through with the schooling. Anyway, let's get started. I mean, he didn't want to, like, wear the sweater properly. It was really what he did or did not do. Uh, passerby, how are you doing? Be good, be gentle. Miss Drew, Ooh. how can I help you? Hi, Miss Cole. Alicia, please. Oh, same. Nancy. Great. So what do you need, Nancy? Any more paper clips? Staplers? Or perhaps a hammer drill? I'm more of a pneumatic nail gun type myself. Ha ha. Nice. You have a hammer drill in here. In my closet. I'm a bit of a home improvement junkie. You have to be when you live in a house built in the 1800s. Well, thanks, but I don't need any of those things. I do have some questions, though. Do you mind if I take five minutes of your time? Please. I don't mind. Uh, Pastor Bry, I'm doing just fine. Thanks for asking. Sounds like Zooming with friends is kind of what we do in 2020, right? Who doesn't love a good hammer drill? I just met Jason Danforth. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? Kind of cute, huh? Kind of doesn't know how to wear a sweater. Not the adjective I would use. Different tastes. Wait, what? Yeah. I think he's kind of like a fast food cheeseburger with extra, extra cheese. <laughs> and I'm more of a home cooked meal kind of gal. What can I say? I love cheese. Hang on. So Hang on. Well? I know him. He does odd jobs for me sometimes. Doesn't hurt that he's easy on the eyes. He is kind of dumb, though. <laughs> I wouldn't really know, to be honest. Listen, spare yourself the headache and just avoid him. Trust me, not much substance. He loves his car. Oh. That's all you really need to know. Odd jobs, right? All that extra cheese, she says. That's why she's staring into Oblivia, right? She's looking right through Nancy. Uh, so his, his, it must be his yellow car outside the courthouse here. Um, that was quite the little twist in the conversation here. Yikes. I'm sure you've heard about the burglary in the court's evidence room. Yes, unbelievable. 
You know, I've started asking myself, what is happening to this town? It used to be such a safe place. And now we have arson and break-ins. I'm worried there's a pattern of escalation here. I mean, I mean, is this the kind of place I want to raise children in? Oh, you're trying to start a family. I mean, yes. But with the amount that I work, when is there any time? I barely have enough time to do my hair in the morning. Let alone go on a date after work. And to be honest, the type of people living in a place like Salem is, well, not really what I'm into. How about you? I have a boyfriend. Really? He doesn't accompany you on your investigative trips? Well, he's in college right now, and we see each other when we can. Uh-huh. You been dating long? Yeah, a couple of years. Okay. No one said it was easy, but we figure out how to make it work. All I'll say is, most men don't understand what we go through. We have to fight to get a seat at their <laughs> table, and then they want us to go home and be family makers. Some unsolicited advice from one working woman to another? Don't let his plans get in the way of yours. Of course, they don't. <laughs> what is this conversation here? Yes, that's right. Nancy's got boyfriends, right? She has lots of friends that are boys. Is that what we're trying to say? Um, good grief. Look at this conversation. Okay, here we go. Uh, Miss Cole here is a little too forward, but what do I know? Do you happen to have the code for the evidence room door? Nope, sorry. He hasn't given that to me yet. And knowing him, he's probably already lost it. See, that's nice and short and sweet, and I don't need to have all the verbose, you know, extras. Why did you bring your hammer drill to the office? Well, after the burglary, we realized that this place was in dire need of higher security. I ordered the keypad online and used the drill to mount it. I just keep forgetting to bring the drill back home with me. That's impressive. Yeah, hmm. still ended up calling a professional when the thing wouldn't stop beeping. Yeah, juggling all those friends that are boys can take time. Do you know Lauren Holt? Owner of Luminous Infusions. Resident of the Hathorne Estate Carriage House. So do you know her? Absolutely. <laughs> I represent her. How's the case going? Well, that's a bit of a confidentiality issue. But you are the daughter of a lawyer. So... Without a will, there is no case. No one has been able to find it. And without the will, the house goes to the state. The law is the law. I can try to get a delay. But we've already delayed twice, and the state doesn't care that someone lives there. It's a tough world out there. I spoke with Lauren. She mentioned you have a key. Hmm. Yes, the key, please. The Hathorn house. It's the only copy. Don't lose it. Oh, and this really isn't supposed to be in your hands. If someone finds you with it, I might have to say you stole it. I'll make sure to be discreet. Thanks. Here to help, Nancy. Hey, next time, please knock before entering, okay? No. Oh, she hammer drilled and hid the will? Clever, clever. Uh, wow, okay. So she gave us the key, so that's good. Well, let's just Do carry you know on. Who has access to the evidence room? As far as I know, just myself and the judge. That's interesting. Look, I don't like saying this, but the judge occasionally leaves the evidence room unlocked. The man even locked himself in his own office for pity's sake. Not that it matters. I was told the burglar came from the outside. So it's safe to say you weren't here during the theft. <laughs> Are you liking me for this crime, Nancy? Yes. No, I don't like anyone for this crime. Or any other crime, for that matter. Just doing my research. I was not here. I was running errands around... Alibi the time! <sighs> busy, busy, busy. Meeting up with the pool boy. With his yellow car. Doing some follow-ups with the arson. Where were you that night? <laughs> Are you asking for my alibi? Well, yes. If you don't mind. I was at a charity fundraiser, saving the piping plovers. Anyone in this town that works in an official capacity can vouch for me. Are you interviewing any of them? 
I don't think I'll need to. I'm a little bit surprised you'd even ask. Just being thorough. I can respect that. <laughs> That's right. Not many places you can hide these days. Okay, a couple more to go. And I think that we have to go back to the judge. And I think we have to go back to Olivia. Would you mind telling me what you were doing three days ago? Three days ago. All day or... Well, any info would be helpful. Actually, why are you interested in this? I was in Austria three days ago and witnessed a theft of a historical artifact there that, surprisingly, I believe is connected to this theft. I see. I was talking to your father about that case. Really? Yeah. We chat sometimes. About work. Mm-hmm. Mostly. Mm-hmm. Okay, ask him. Is sure. she going to be our new mom? You're a regular sleuth, aren't you? Picking up other cases now? Not exactly. It's kind of related to the Hathorn house. Yeah, let's see. I was home watching Jason cut the stump out of my front yard. You hired Jason Danforth for that? He's cheap. And he can't say no because he needs the money. Plus, I kind of like watching him suffer a little. I wouldn't Alicia. know why. Alicia. Yeah, I could use someone like you. A lawyer is always in need of a good private investigator. If your father would be okay with you working for someone else... Alicia, I'm my own woman. I work for myself. Snap, been crackle, very pop. Helpful, and I really appreciate it. Good. Well, when you solve this case, let's talk. Uh, any idea how the stream's gonna be, or how long? I don't know, Black Omen. It's at least another hour or two, I would suspect. He is the cheapest of cheaps. Well, welcome back, Rune. We are in our final, assuming our final conversation for lovely Alicia. She is. Quite an interesting character. What did you mean when you said the people here are not not shy? Oh, you probably know by now. You've been around town, right? I have. It's all people with minds as small as the town itself. I don't mean to sound harsh, but uh, you can only meet so many with the same mindset before you see a pattern. That's interesting. Did something happen? Oh, nothing much. Sometimes I just wish this place would be a bit bigger, you know? more progressive imagine a revitalized town do you think that could happen <laughs> a woman can dream and i still want to know how alicia knows nancy's dad or maybe i don't maybe i don't know okay never mind i'm gonna just get that See out of my later. mind i don't think nancy's looking for a new mom let's just double check if i exhausted the Judges. As you know, I want to investigate the crime scene. Could you give me the code for the keypad? That information isn't usually available to the public. I'm afraid I can't just take your word for it. I'll have it taken care of. Alrighty then. So, does that mean it's open now? She's busy with the hammer drill? Oh, yikes. I need to get Judge Danforth's permission before I... Hammer drill in the pool, boy. What? Uh, no, the tree stump, dude. So, hey, Nance. What you doing? Learn about my new mom. She's got a hammer drill. Do you need me to come over? No. No, I don't, Ned. Seriously, space, please. I will if you want me to. Vacation can wait. No, it's fine. Really, I just need to keep my nerves calm. Every mystery can be solved. Just keep at it. Thank you. Okay, enough of that. Uh, so we've got to still... What are we doing here? We can call someone. Look at all these people. Let's uh, go back outside for a minute. And let's just go across the street. Oh wait, is Buddy here? Hey, handsome! I hear you take care of stumps. I knew you couldn't resist. Yes, you are correct, Jason. I could not. I'm open tomorrow night. Or tonight. Or right now. Lady's choice. How about three nights ago? Wait, we already went on a date? Definitely not. 
Oh. <laughs> ah, Nancy holding her own. Love it. Where were you on the night Hathorn House was burned? Oh, right. I was, um, uh, I was... Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, it's coming to me. Primal Cut. I'm sorry? It's a steakhouse. I was there with my dad. Great steak, very expensive. He'll tell you. So, if we haven't been on a date yet, does that mean we're going to go on one in the future? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nancy, so polite. I have another question for you. Yes, it's true. I'm single. I actually wanted to know what you were doing three days ago. Are you sure that's what you want to know? Yes. I was actually digging out a stump in Alicia Cole's backyard. You, digging out a stump. What? Yeah, not my favorite pastime, but I can't really say no to the money. I mean, it gives a good tan. Ladies can't say no to a hot bob. Okay. You don't believe me? Oh, well, maybe you should ride with me to the beach. I can show you. Oh, no thanks. No, thank you. 